We are back. Is New York City better or worse than it was 11 and a half years ago after three terms of Bloomberg? What will be his legacy? The New York Times is focusing on this. I start with you, sir. What's the legacy? Well, I think generally people are going to respect his job as mayor. Uh, there's no doubt that a lot of positive things happened under his leadership. There's no doubt about it. And he had a vision for the city. He was unapologetic about it and in a you know, traditionally New York way, really plowed ahead with his plans and got a lot of stuff done. However, a lot of the things that he really wanted to make hallmarks of his administration have been utter failures. Education was the thing that he ran on the first time he's continued to try to make that huge deal uh, for him and part of his legacy. And when you look at the numbers, even when you factor in the ways that, the various ways that we've changed how we um, uh, look at schools and how we judge their success, at best, it's about the same. And, and there's, still, there's still rampant inequality uh, between uh, races um, and uh, not just uh, in schools, but also when they get out of school and whether or not they're prepared for college. Very few black and Latino uh, children graduate ready, from ready for college. But, but and and that's going to follow him around. And the second thing it, is obviously stop and frisk. I mean, there's no doubt about it. Yeah. That is going to hang that's, around his was, neck for the that, rest uh, of no, his no, life. No, no, that's not, that's not, the issues are bigger. Number one, the city's better off than it was. Number two, eight years would have been fine. We didn't need 12. Number three, New Yorkers are living longer now than they were. So the question becomes, what would have happened if Bloomberg wasn't mayor? And I firmly believe the city would be a lot worse off. I remember when I was at NYU in grad school, they talked about the real estate guys in New York that everyone beats up on now and says big bag real estate people would go to City Hall, pay their real estate taxes, the Rudens, other big families, in advance to help the city make its payments so they wouldn't default on their loans. That, that's what was going on back down on their bonds. If Bloomberg didn't step in when he did after 9-11 at this point and, and wasn't the mayor, I don't know what would have happened to the city. But again, eight years would have been fine. We didn't get the stadium for the west side. We didn't get the Olympics, some big things he went for. Mm -hmm. I don't love the bike lanes. They're there. I'm still a city bike, <laughs> but I'm a city bike member at this point. I disagree with a lot of that stuff. Have I think you tried the work. bikes? Mm -hmm. Have I you have, tried I, them? I've ridden in the city, sure. How, how I've got far? My, how far did you <laughs> I, well, I, Let's see. I ran, let's see. I ran down to Battery Park it. City. Let's see it. I ran did down to Battery Park City. Wow. There it is. I got so my this city is what bike it, Wow. I did it. I, wow. I, I, wow. Listen, I, That's very progressive. It's like it's like blackberries and, and everything else. You know, I'd love to be able to not use them sometimes, but they're there. They're great. Let's go for it. So, so Professor, I'm coming to you, but wait. As you can see, I'm caught up with this. So if I go put this on the... The yeah, thing there. Put it right in. I can Hop get, I can get a bike in New York City right now. I rode from Central around. Park to Battery Park. Professor, how far do you think I can go? <laughs> you can go from Two Central blocks. Park to Battery Park and back. Wow. <laughs> and Bloomberg, more. Bloomberg's legacy. You know, I think it's I think it's mixed. Um, I do think, you know, education is one of the issues that, you know, I think he's just never been able to get ahead of or make inroads on. It was something that he ran on, and we are... I don't want to say worse off or certainly not better for, you know, the years that he spent in there. I think he is going to forever have to live with the fact of that third term. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there are issues, the, the, you know, certainly the Olympics, all those other things that he tried to do. On the other hand, he did some really good things in terms of health policy. Mm -hmm. And, you know, his, his recycling record is not great, but certainly he worked hard on moving the environment forward. So I think it's going to be something of a mixed legacy. But I think what troubles me the most about Bloomberg is not, you know, anything against him personally, except that this is a guy who was never beholden to either donors or the right. voters. But this and, is a guy who is able to go off responses. on his own. But it's, become, and, a nanny, and but it's become a nanny state. You can't smoke cigars. If I want to open a bar tomorrow and allow smoking for cigars or cigarettes, I can't do it. You can't do that. Can't scratch. get a big soda. I, no, the soda. He lost the soda fight at that soda point. Still, but, but and you know when you go buy something at Dunkin' Donuts or something and buy, so I can now buy Boston Cream because it's less calories than a blueberry muffin. But what does that do in the in the scheme of things and help New York City? But the Final issue word. of money when is to, troubling to me. Final word. When Bloomberg first started, we said. He's going to be great because he doesn't have to listen to all these people. Now we say he's terrible. He doesn't <laughs> listen to anybody. And that's basically what his legacy Good is going to be. Good point. You're going to hop your city I, bike I've got to take a break, uh, but I'm going to go. I can't believe you actually enjoyed this. It's Talk to the table is coming up next. Stay with us.